Uh, well, the game is basically played. I'm experimenting with how to get the cards, but uh, you'll be able to select between the cards that you are either given in hand or trying out, having it out on the board for everybody to grab a hold. Uh, but you grab one and you place it in your section, um, and then you'll also play one into your opponent's section. Uh, off of, and they have to match the colors. So, like, if it, you know, yellow has to match yellow, blue matches blue. Uh, but as long as one section matches, then you're fine. You don't have to match on like all sides. Um, so yeah, you draw one, you place it down, and you just keep expanding. So it's it's really simple. Um, just expanding your color, trying to block other people's by like trying to, you know, put block off so they can't make any more scoring, um, but while still trying to expand your colors. And there's, I have a few powers, like I have Wild that can completely change the tiles color. I have a uh, one that has uh, two turns, so you'd be able to, you know, take another additional tile and on to place in yours, and then place one on your opponent's. Uh, and then I have a another one that has a symbol on it, but I'm still not, I'm still trying to figure that out. As I've been playtesting, I've changed what it's done, so I'm not solid on what I want it to do yet. Yeah. Um, but then once you've decided to score, like in this one over here that we um, already have set up, um, you have three here. Like if somebody played on yours and it closed one, you can still score it. Um, if you don't have any other options, you might as well score it. And then once you've scored it, you can place one of these to show that that's what you're scoring. And then you place a cube on the appropriate section. So this would be one, two, three. So it's three orange, so they get four points. The next section, like the next person to get it, would only get three points. So the first person to complete each of these gets more points than the last. Like I'll have uh, for having three touching tiles. If you're the first person, you get four points. The second person only gets three. For having four, you get six. And the next is five, eight, and seven, ten, and nine. Uh, I'm still experimenting if I want to have a more drastic um, score drop, or uh, if I want people to be able to get even third or fourth, but. I've been you know, experimenting with that, trying to make it the best feel for scoring, but that's pretty much how it plays. It's really basic just cool. Okay, uh, my name is Drew Whitten, um, and this game is about trying to get the largest groupings of colors that you can get and score them, trying to get the first to getting the scoring on the groupings so you can be able to make the most points. Okay. Um, so that's basic. That's good. Okay. Um, let's see. How long have you been uh, developing this game? Uh, for several months. When did I first play it? It might have been last year. Yeah, I haven't really touched it recently because I've been developing other games and stuff, yeah. but, um, but yeah, since last year. And I had a, I had like, this is like the second revision of it, so I've not had a lot of revisions, but yeah. yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about about the scoring. Uh, well, there's you can get points, or the, the groupings that you need to get points is either three, four, five, or six. So you have to get those together. If you have any more than six, yeah. there's not really any benefit to it. And if you get two, you're not going to make any points. Yeah. Uh, and if you're the first person to get that grouping, you can choose to go ahead and score it and get the most in that, like the three, four, five you know, section. Um, so you get more points, or if you want to push your luck and try to let it expand and continue to go, mm -hmm. somebody might end up getting it before you if you're trying to risk getting more points. Right. Um, you th what do you think about it, Charles? I really like the, the familiar gameplay. Mm -hmm. You know, it, when we say match colors, it, everybody kind of has a, an idea of what you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and there's this tension with both kind of the way or the timing of the scoring, but, but then the way that your your board is limited, you know, to four in each direction. You know, so you might be going for something really big, right. but then somebody kind of makes it's like, no, that's as far as you go in that direction. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I like I like that combination of the, the scoring and the spatial aspect. Yeah, um, very you know familiar yeah, mechanics like uh, Carcassonne or uh, a little bit of. Uh, uh, what's that Isle of Sky feel? Yeah, you're just uh, you're matching yeah, features or colors or what have you, trying to get the most of something or um, yeah, just trying to expand your land. Like, have you thought about maybe adding another layer to it with um, you know, like in 
out of the sky there could be like features you know like a, like a what do you call it lighthouses or you know things like that or little symbols on on the cards. colors and stuff yeah. try to give it an additional like if you can match these things you get more points or something right yeah I haven't thought about it but that's yeah. that's good you know, good suggestion yeah but man the, the scoring I, I, I like a lot actually um because it still gives you a chance, even if you're, you know, not the first one to get it, and you want to like score it before it's too late. That's great. Um, like, what's um, what's the next step um, for this game? Um. Well, when I get finally back to it, because I'm yeah. trying to do other things while you know, the, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to. There's a few things I feel kind of finicky about the scoring. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna try to mess with a little bit more. Some of the powers that I have, like I have a wild uh, mm -hmm. and a two turn one, and I have one that I'm still trying to experiment what I want it to do because I want about two to three powers to yeah. give the game some some depth and things that you can do to because it's kind of a take that sort of game because mm -hmm. you're playing on your own, you're playing on your opponents. Right. So I want some things to give people some options as to what they can do. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm trying to figure those things out, and so yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to do is my next steps. Yeah. Uh, so far, like the the take that aspect of the game wasn't too like just harsh, you know. I felt it was just right amount. Like it wasn't. I mean, yeah, there is some of it, but yeah, I think it's just yeah. a nice touch. But there's a little bit every turn. Um, yeah. When you're playing on somebody else, and so mm -hmm. you you kind of have that expectation, and you get mm -hmm. to dish out about as much as you get. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, so, yeah, let's. We'll stop it right there, and then we'll just um, do like, a, you know, just show me how to it's played basically okay. a quick.